Hey guys, this is SB, and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world, and we're going to go and head down to Fred's office and see what today's challenge is going to be. Yes, after last episode, you know, we had some sad times, but once I came back to the future, if you haven't watched the episode, it won't make much sense, but if once I came back to the future, why is there no reward fish there? I must be somewhere else, but uh, yeah, once I came back to the future, everything was back to normal. Fred was back, okay, sadly Boris was gone, and that is going to be affecting today's episode a little bit today, but uh, at least I got Fred back. I think that's that's kind of the main thing, isn't it? So anyway, we're going to go through there. We've gone through security. We're going to get our eye scanned. See if it works. There we go. We have, we've been allowed through. Good morning, Sean. Glad to see you're awake and on the job. Hope you're doing good, buddy. Right, let's go through into uh, into Fred's office here. We've got Miles the Mule. Look at him. He, he loves it in there. He really does. Fred's uh, Fred's pet. And uh, good morning, Fred. Glad to have you back. Not that you'd understand that because in, in your as far as you're concerned, you've always been here. But anyway... Go for a lava bath at the Pampered Penguin. Ah, Fred, you know what? You're giving me a nice easy day, eh? A nice relaxing time at the Pampered Penguin where I can go and uh, look after myself and everything. That's that's very nice. And what we got in here? We, we do have an assigned dog today. Who's it going to be? It's going to be none other, other than Dinnerbone. You know what? It's good to have you back, Dinnerbone. Um, yeah, come on. You come with me and we'll go and... Uh, well, I'm not actually going to take you... <laughs> I'm not going to take you all the way to the Pampered Penguin. The reason being, as it, there's lava involved, I just feel like... It could go wrong if I uh, if I do that. So, where did you go? You just completely disappeared. There you go. Right, you, you just sit here, okay? Yeah, with lava involved, I don't want you to die so soon after um after getting your back. To be honest, <laughs> we've had enough time traveling. I don't have to go through that all over again. So let's just avoid the problem completely this time. All right, there's no workers here today. Yeah, well, good job. I own this place. I can still get in. Alrighty, so. This is where you can come to the Pampered Penguin to, uh, to to have all sorts of treatments. So we have the lava bath here, of course. Get yourself a potion of fire resistance. Also, there's my reward fish. Oh, well, I guess I can uh, have that once I've had my bath. So in we go. And look at this. Very, very relaxing. This is very good for your skin, okay? Believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, this is incredibly good for your skin. So you just get in there, you know, you get yourself. You're going to get your full body under if you want. Yeah, that's a little bit... A little bit getting, don't get it in your eyes though, it will be painful, but there you go, look at that, very good, look, you, I'll come out, I'll have lovely, shiny, clean skin, okay, it really purifies everything, okay, look at me, okay, yeah, then you just go in the water, and and that's, that's that, now then, you're thinking, oh, well, I just need a little bit more, so you think, right, next, we go to the ice chamber, okay, this, this again is another really, uh, really good treatment, so you just go across here, and uh, you get this, look at this, you're in the ice, now, it, it just does your top half, okay, if you go in with your head, you will suffocate. So, uh, yeah, you get your, your your bottom half. You can enjoy reward fish, nice and chilled, okay? Um, your legs will start to freeze a little bit. You cannot stay in here too long, okay? But this is very good. Uh, I don't know if I recommend it after the lava bath. Most people do the lava bath after this. But there you go. And then once you're done, you just hop on out, okay? You go back round and you can, just, you can just flick it back up. There we go. I've had that. Perfect. All right, moving on. Moving on to the next bit of treatment. Possibly the greatest one. You fancy a massage, don't you, okay? Welcoming the pig massage. Oh, this is a brilliant one. Okay, you just you just go into here. Okay, stand in there, and and look at this. They just they jump up and down, and that you just get such a good massage. Look at that. Oh, you can just feel it on your muscles. You can feel all the pain going away, and uh, I'm I'm feeling more and more relaxed here today. Look at this. Lovely. Okay, a few pigs will try to escape here and there, but uh, <laughs> hopefully they don't. <laughs> I don't think any have escaped yet. No, there we go. So we've had a nice little massage, and then to finish. We'll go in the nice warm jacuzzi, okay? Not too hot, okay? Powered by lava, as you can see. Enjoy this, okay? Just cool off, relax off, okay? Oh, well, that was a very, very nice challenge for me today. I feel so relaxed now. But we've got stuff to do, unfortunately. I feel like I could do with another reward fish. I ate mine in there already, haven't I? But Which is a bit sad, but you know what? We're just going to have to move on. So today, we're going to... Uh, which bridge did I leave him on, by the way? It's th is this one. It was this one. Today, we're going to build a memorial for Boris, okay, because uh, I never built one, I did kind of, but then when I rebuilt my house, he never had one, so Boris doesn't even have a grave, doesn't have any special place for him, so I'm thinking we build him a special statue, because he was my first ever dog, and, um, you know, I, I still miss him to this day, and I think he deserves, he deserves it, okay, if it, if it doesn't make sense, by the way, you, you're gonna have to watch the previous episode if you don't know who Boris is, okay, that's, that's all I can say to you, okay, previous episode, but we'll go ahead and, um, begin building this little memorial for him. So I've taken down the beacon, which was here. It's all in here. I will put it back in future, okay? In the future, I'll have it like underground, but for now, we're gonna have this, uh, this statue over the top. So let's go and grab some stone slabs, okay? And what we're gonna go ahead and do is just build these all the way around sort of the outside. I could do with some milk, actually. You know what? I'm gonna go and get some milk because 
This is uh, fire resistance, which has still got four minutes. The, the particles are just sort of annoying me a little bit, so I'm going to go and grab... I should have some uh, milk in the kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. It needs to be milk in the pampered penguin, really, just for such such issues like this. So, do we have any milk? No, we have no milk. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's sad times. I can go and easily get some, though. Don't you worry. We have we have plenty of cows on site to uh, to do it. So, you know, before we get... By the time I get the milk, I'll, uh, I'll have run out of fire resistance, won't I? Right, let's, let's fill it up. Yep, you can use a mushroom to get milk. Did you know that? It kind of makes sense because they are still technically a cow. You think you get mushrooms too, but uh, well, you can with a with a, uh, a bowl. So, yeah, <laughs> they can give you all sorts of things. Anyway, we're going to put that back in there for next time. If I need one next time, we'll be, uh, we'll be sorted. We'll have a bit of steak as well. Okay, I don't know where, where Dinner Bone is. He's just wandering about. Oh, he's sat over there. You know what? It's probably for best for the best that you're sat over there, Dinner Bone. You can stand up. You can have a wander around. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this... I, have I, am I going to regret having you stood up? Because you're not going to keep getting in the way, are you? And then just stand still. Don't be awkward, all right? <laughs> I can go and change the past again. Don't you worry about that. Anyway, we're going to yeah, bring this along like so. So what we're going to build is like a, a dog statue out of stone, which I've never really done before. Um, So it's going to be interesting to see how it actually turns out and uh, and how it looks. It should hopefully look okay. So I'm going to go and grab some, uh, some andesite. Let's go and... Uh, build a bit of a snout, so we're going to do this like so, and then I'm thinking on the sides, we'll get some coal, okay, like this, so this is kind of the snout which I'm starting with, which is, I guess is an unusual thing to start with, but it'll all come together, okay, you trust me on this, it'll all come together, so we'll, we'll bring this up like so, and bring up another layer, the nose is going to go right here, okay, like this, there we go, uh, what do we think, okay, you know what? You can definitely see that that is a bit of a dog snout, can't you? So that's that's a good start. Okay. What do you think? You're just comparing yourself to it at your dinner bone. Do you agree? I don't know. You know what? You're going to just have to be sat down for a little bit. Okay. Just have a sit down. You sit there. Okay. You can't get into any trouble from there. Uh, I also need the diorite, the polished diorite. So let's grab that. And um, we're just going to put a slab right here. And then we can put diorite on top. We're also, yeah, going to put the polished granite here. There we go. So yeah, like I say, y you wouldn't normally use these blocks to build a dog's face. Which is why I kind of like it. This is why I kind of like what we're doing. So we're going to go and put granite there. Granite there. Does it need to be in the middle as well? I think it does, yeah. And then across like so. Uh, three. And then we also need the eyes. So one there. One there. And I've got some quartz. And that's for like the other bits of the eyes. You know what I mean? The uh, the whites of the eyes. So let's just uh, go and put one there. Put that there. And we can go and do the exact same thing on the other side like that. So you can now see we have uh, we have the eyes. Uh, if we go and grab ourselves some polished diorite, we'll go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll get this all all done and dusted, okay? So the front of his face is not far off. We have got the rest of his head to worry about. I'm going to have a beacon coming out of this statue as well, which I think will look quite nice. Okay, I need to do this side as well, the uh, the head, so let's <laughs> not forget it, okay? Not to be forgotten. Uh, if we just go like this, I uh, will have another couple of slabs just like that, and then we can put you on there. There we go. Alrighty. And we'll do that like that, I think. Yeah, that on either side. And then what we can do is we can just go and do a load of, uh, of polished... I think this is diorite, right? Yeah, this is diorite, okay. It's easy to get them mixed up, the diorite, the andesite, the granite. I never get granite mixed up because it's completely different to all the others. Like, it's really, you know, you'd be an idiot to get them mixed up. But uh, diorite and andesite, I, I sometimes can be a little mixed up with them. Anyway, we're going to go and put andesite. I think I've, I'm going to be a piece of andesite short. Sure, have I used a piece of andesite when I didn't need to or something? Can I can I salvage a piece of andesite from anywhere? Anybody got a, a spare piece of andesite would be much appreciated right about now for, for his ear. Okay, oh, there we go, you see. What did I tell you? I, brought, I knew I brought just the right amount. I've calculated this to perfection, okay? So if I'd use too much in any situation, it is actually a problem. <laughs> okay, we're going to go and bring... Yeah, this needs to come up to the top, like so. Okay, his ears can now be uh, can now be finished. So we're going to have uh, the uh, the diorite on top of the andesite light. It's getting dark. I will go to bed in a second. Um, I think we're going to have like a beacon, so in the middle, we'll worry about the beacon, I suppose, after, that's probably going to be the best option, so we'll go and bring this up to the top, like that, there we go, and uh, yeah, we'll, I, I tell you, we'll do the rest in a moment, I think, I think I'm happy with how it's turned out so far, there's still stuff to be done, but it's so far so good, so let's go and yeah, jump into bed, okay, we don't, I just don't want mobs to spawn, and then dinner bone to start, you know, going for them, and then before you know it, Dinner bone comes across a baby zombie and it's a, it's a nightmare, okay? I, I just don't want that to happen. So, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to bed in good time this time. I've learned my lesson, okay? Never be outside at night with dogs, all right? Because it, it, it never ends well. It never never has ended well. It never will end well, okay? I'll just come out and there'll be creepers everywhere. Don't know how. They couldn't spawn, okay? Uh, right, so, yeah, we've got this. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, do the... 
the next bit, I suppose. So uh, we're going to have, uh, I suppose, yeah, first of all, another layer of this. Okay, another layer of this andesite like this. And then this is going to come across all the way. I don't know where we, where do we want the beacon to go. Would you say in between the ears? I'd say, yeah, right about here. So let's, if we could probably actually drop some stuff here. So let's go and, um, oh, I don't have the iron actually. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll... I'll mark it with slabs, okay? On there, I want a beacon to be. I think that's the, that's going to be the best place. Uh, we'll go and build this up as well. Just get in the back, but there's something I'm going to add a little twist to the back of his head, which you wouldn't expect to find on a dog, but I, I think it looks nice, so I'm, I'm adding it in, all right? Um, we also need to get some blue lapis here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to just have like a collar, okay? I'm, th I'm thinking, because Boris had a blue collar, and we want to be able to distinguish, we want people to know, you know, this is... This is Boris. This is no one else. Let's try and speed bridge it. Are you ready? Oh, it, it, I did a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Only going to do a tiny bit. Uh, we're going to go and, yeah, just fill that in. Ooh, okay, I need, I'm going to need that piece of lapis, I think. Come down here. Thank you. Come hither. There we go. That's that all sorted. And then if we just go uh, to the back and uh, what we can do is... Uh, I kind of want to... Do I want that there? Yes. Yeah, so, hmm. Let me work this out a little bit here. Look at the inside of his head. This is this is the inside of Boris. This is what Boris's head looks like from the inside. If you didn't know, if you're curious, okay. Um, yeah. What I'm gonna do is go over to the front. I honestly feel like I've built it like. Now I built it right. I just no. I have built it a little bit. No. Yeah. I built it. I, I'll tell you what I've done. I've built his head too far back. Like this is too much. Okay. The lapis is meant to be here. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. So this is. I'm gonna mine away at this hole. The lapis is actually meant to be one back, okay? You know, we've got time. We've got time to correct my uh, my stupid mistakes. Don't you worry, okay? Um, I'm just trying to, yeah, work it out and get it right, but there's actually meant to be lapis there because I realised, because where the, what I'm going to have is, like, water coming down, and I couldn't do that with uh, with what I've done, okay? So what I've done is I've messed that up. So let's just go and mine away at this lapis if we can reach it all. Okay, it might be easy if I'd actually just build my way up there. Uh, so let's go and do this. Okay, so it's basically going to be lapis, Along like this. There you go. Okay, this is this is more like it. All right. Meanwhile, we can we can mine up the rest of this lapis. Okay, we can get it all back. I tell you what, it's an expensive statue. This as well, using lapis blocks. They they don't you know they're not the easiest of things to get, are they? But I'm sure it'll be appreciated. All right. So yeah, it goes along like that. This is much more like it. Okay, all the way across the top, and then yeah, we'll go and do this. And then there's going to be space for everything else. I knew I knew there was something wrong, but you know what? It only took me a moment to fix it, didn't it? It wasn't like the biggest job and. The thing is, I probably would have run out of materials had I can't continued that anyway and realized, so it's not the end of the world. All right, there we go. So we've got that. We're going to go and mine away at this as well. Okay, so now what we want to do is fill in this a little bit. But we're going to leave a gap at the top, okay? Now that's that's going to be where it gets a little interesting with the gap at the top. All righty, so I'm going to just fill in all of this. And that's where, yeah, I'm going to put water coming down. Just because otherwise it looks a little bit weird from the back. Like the front, it'll look fine, but you come to the back and it'll be like, yeah, this is a little bit strange, if I'm being honest. So, just to make it look a little bit better from all angles, that's what I'm, I'm going for, okay? So, there we go. We've got that. Um, yeah, if I can then go and get... I'm just going to put some slabs in here, I think. So, we'll put a slab there, just to uh, to hide this. You know, you don't want to be able to see the, uh, the under, underneath here. So, go like that. I'm even thinking... Ooh, let's let's go, like, put that there as well. I'm thinking, how many slabs do I have left? I have, I have loads of slabs. Tell you what we'll do. We'll fill in this as well, so... Let's just go and mine away all this snow. And we'll have slabs underneath as well. Rather than seeing the snow from the water, you can you just see slabs, which I think is going to be, you know, a good thing. Okay, that was not meant to go there. <laughs> I had one job. There we go. Right, let's, let's go and fill in all of that. Perfect. We're going to go and grab some water. Okay. And yeah, we're going to go and, uh, and place that along. So, water there. Uh, we can actually do it like that. And then I think what we can do is... Now, I was going to say we can get an infinite water source, but that didn't quite work, did it? Thankfully, we have plenty of water down here, so it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I went for the infinite water source thing, but I think when it's flowing downwards, it doesn't work like that. So, uh, we'll go ahead and place you there. You there. And then we need three more buckets. Okay, so two more trips required, all right? So, we'll go and do that. Go and do that. All right, and then I think I just want to add a sign, you know, commemorating Boris a little bit. And then the beacon needs to go in. And then I think it's more or less done. I think then I'm completely sorted with it. So, we'll go and just fill that up again. One last time, put this into here. Okay, well, you got to make sure you get it just right. There we go. And uh, there you have the back of it. <laughs> you know, just to make it look a little bit better, I'd say. Uh, right, so we're going to put a sign right over here. Okay, I have a few spare pieces of, uh, of items here and there, which is always nice. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a little sign that just says, R.I.P. Boris the dog. We can type this out, can't we? So, 
let's have a look and get the dots and there we go i'm all over the place here apparently there we go uh r.i.p boris i i mean it is sad of course um you know what? i'm gonna do it the other way around actually <laughs> I'm going to put Boris first, and then I'm going to put uh, R.I.P. We'll call him Boris the dog, okay? Just so people know this is a dog. If, just in case, you know, you look at the sat statue and you're like, is that actually a dog or is that, you know, some strange creature? You know, now everyone's going to know that sees it. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, that's a dog and his name is Boris, okay? So we'll go and have you like that and we should be completely done. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's all of that done. You deserve this, Boris. You deserve this, my first ever dog. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm gonna just gonna grab everything in here now. And we're gonna sort of make the beacon. Let's let's mine our way in. In we go. Into the inside. All right. So I'm thinking, yeah, right here. If we go and grab, uh, well, actually, we'll get the the gold because the gold is sort of the, the top one, isn't it? So like this. All right. I wouldn't mind making it a fully powered beacon if it's possible. So I'm gonna put the beacon on top. There we go. And then what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of mine. I'm just using the pickaxe. It's not no big deal. Uh, yeah, we're going to mine away underneath. And we're going to go and fill in all the other stuff. Okay, I could use a shovel on this snow. 100% I realize that. But if I do that, I'm going to end up with about a million snowballs in my inventory. And I don't know. I don't know if I fancy that, to be honest. You know, my inventory is just going to be super cluttered and everything. I don't know if I really want uh, 100 snowballs in my inventory. <laughs> More than that, probably. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and mine away. This this stone underneath needs to go as well. So I'm probably going to try and make this as a, a fully powered beacon, if possible. I think that's probably going to be a good idea, isn't it? So we'll go ahead and fill in all of this. Well, mine away all of this. I think I think that's everything, isn't it? So let's go and uh, chisel out this nicely. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Let me let me play. So it's going to be iron along like this. Okay. And I'm just replacing the iron that was there before. So I should have more than enough. Did I put the beacon in? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so that's like that, and that's like that. Okay, so then if I go down one, and then we've got to do the same again, but one more wider, okay? So I'm going to go and dig uh, this so I can just see. To be honest, I can't see a thing. I was going to say, just so I could I could see what I'm doing, but I can't see what I'm doing. Put a torch down. Okay, yeah, so we need to go even deeper, okay? And then place the iron in again, and uh, yeah, it's going to be... I mean, it takes a lot of iron here. Good job I have an iron golem farm, to be honest with you. Otherwise, this would be near impossible to make, so that's all correct, okay? Um, I'm just trying to use where the iron stops to work out how far I need to build. So I think, yeah, out here needs to uh, to be dug out. There we go. And then just the other side to sort out, and then that's that's going to be that sorted. So yep. Yeah, if I once I've dug out this, there we go. So now the next layer of iron can go in, and I think there's going to be one more layer of iron underneath, and then we are completely done. So let's just go and fill in everything like that. There we go. I'm going to get trapped again. I'm the exact same thing is going to happen. We have to dig down one more, but once that's done. We're sorted. I'm just hoping that I don't run into anything like underneath me. Like I'm running out of space or something. It's like, yeah, we, we can't have a fully charged beacon, a fully powered beacon anymore. So yeah, hopefully this is the last layer. If there's another layer, it's going to be even crazier. I did always want to do something with this beacon. So I'm kind of glad that I finally sort of got around to making the beacon kind of not just be a stuck out like in the middle of nowhere. I think, you know, Boris deserves a beacon over him. He's going to be giving out life to everyone else, you know, in, in a way, I guess this is his statue. If, if, if that makes sense to you, because obviously he's, you know, I don't know. I, I, you, you get what I mean, don't you? There's a beacon coming out of him. The beacon gives regeneration and I think swiftness does mine. I usually put swiftness. Look at that. We can't go much lower now. I can see the, I've seen blocks underneath me. So we're going to be chiseling. We're going to mine into uh, rooms underground if we're not careful, which we definitely don't want to happen. So I'm going to dig out all of this so that I can fit in. I don't, I think this is the last one anyway. So we should be good. We can even put some torches down. I don't think I need to dig any lower. The only reason I'm just mining away this bit in the middle is just so I can move about. Otherwise, I'm going to get a little bit stuck. The next question is, how do I get out of here? That's that's another question which I'm not too sure about. I still need to dig a little bit further this way as well. So we're going to do that. We don't need to dig out all of it. I think, yeah, now we're definitely done. So let's go and uh, add in the iron blocks. And once we go back up, we should have a fully charged beacon. I do need like a diamond or something to use it. Uh, and I ain't got something like that just so I can activate it. But then once it's activated will be sorted, okay. Did I miss a block there? Oh, I did, okay. <laughs> it won't work. If you miss one block, it will not work, which is why you've got to be so very careful. But I'll know I've missed no blocks. If I have no blocks left, I'll know that it's done perfect. Watch me. Am I short on blocks? No, there's three left. Oh, no, wait. I have a spare one. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm now down into the... Th Don't tell me I've missed a block. Is it on this layer? I'm pretty sure I would have noticed... Okay, it, it could be anywhere. 
but because I have missed a block, it might not work as well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down. I don't know what room this is gonna be. Oh, this is my enchantment room. Okay, <laughs> down we go. Alrighty, we'll go and uh, we'll replace that up there. Replace that up there. I'll go back round. I, if I have missed a block, what I'll do is I'll just sort it in between episodes. I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> redo the entire thing until I find the missing block. I do need to add some uh, some other stuff. So yeah, let's go down here. Let's grab ourselves an ingot of some description. We'll just grab yeah, a gold ingot should be uh, should be good enough. There we go. Should do the trick hopefully. Yeah, let's uh, let's work our way up here. I'm pretty sure yeah something's gone wrong. It's getting dark as well. It's never a good thing. Okay, we've got to be quick. We've got to be quick and uh, and sort this out. All right. So we'll go back through here to this little entrance way that I made. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to make a blue stained glass just to make the beam blue. So let's go up there. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty. Wait, did I get it right? Regen, speed. Is it going to give me regen and speed? That is the question. We're going to find out. It's giving me them both. Okay, this, I, I've somehow got a free iron block out of that then. I don't know where that extra iron block came from, but there you go. A free iron block never hurt anybody. So we'll go, we'll put that there. And it's it's job done. Uh, Boris's memorial is finished. I feel like I should go to bed first, just so you can see it in the daytime as well. Because you've seen it at night, it looks quite cool. Okay, it's, 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 yeah, I think I, you'd call it Boris's memorial, wouldn't you? Is it a memorial? Is it a, I don't know, a grave? Something like that. Whatever it is. It's to remember him, okay? It's in remembrance of Boris, all right? I think it, it it definitely does the job. And and I've got a beacon as well. So I get some speed and uh, and regen out of it as well. So look at that. Looking nice. It I, I think the blue definitely works because obviously he had a blue collar. Blue was his favorite color as well. Um, Don't ruin this moment for me, you. Hi. <laughs> so there we go. Boris the dog. R.I.P. There we go. There we go. So... It was nice to spend time with him in the last episode, but that is, it is what it is. It's, uh, it's Boris's journey officially ended now, okay? I'm going to leave the past in the past, okay? So, thank you very much for watching this episode. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, so, yeah, as I said, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully, I will see you guys next time.